So, just to recap from day one, what is asexuality? <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. I'm getting sick. Ooh, I am getting sick. Okay. Recap. So, day one. Recap. I keep saying that. I don't know why. So, recap. 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 Number one. Asexuality is someone having a lack of sexual attraction. Number two. <clears throat> Ugh, there it is again. Number two, asexuality is not celibacy. Celibacy is a choice, okay? Okay. So, things you need to know about today. Uh, when I said that asexuality meant that someone didn't have a sexual attraction, that's kind of true, but it's also kind of false. Because some asexuals, from time to time, do experience sexual attraction. It just depends on which asexual you are talking about. So... There are different types of asexuals, just like there are different types of sexuals. So if you're asexuals who don't experience sexual attraction, you know, there's a spectrum. There's a, there's a spectrum for asexuals, okay? So this is not in order, but you have demisexuals who only experience sexual attraction after forming a close personal bond with someone. You have gray sexuals who experience sexual attraction, but it's rare. You also have lethosexuals, you have cupiosexuals or supiosexuals, I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. Anyway, there's a link to asexuality.org in the little doobly-doo thingamabob, whatever we're going to call it. So click that, it'll take you there, you can look stuff up, you can figure stuff out, and have a nice ace week.